Let's invite the first corporate on the show. Uh, NBC sees the stock in focus. It's been raining orders for them. Uh, this public sector company has bagged a slew of new projects amounting to 800 crores in February alone. Anup Kumar Mittal, Chairman and Managing Director of NBCC, joins us to tell us how the fourth quarter has panned out in terms of order and execution. Good morning, sir. Thank you very much for joining us. Uh, if you can begin by tell, uh, telling us how the order book has improved in this quarter, wo where was it when you started, where is it now? Uh, good morning, uh, Latab. Uh, you see, uh, the order which you are talking about, 800 crore rupees in February, uh, these are some miscellaneous orders we have received from Delhi uh, projects uh, from uh, uh, central government. Uh, one is uh, 600 crore rupees uh, uh, Vandana Park and two are small orders of 100 crore rupees. Uh, so this is uh, about uh, February but overall uh, we have around uh, 85,000 crore rupees order book uh, as on date and uh, we have still 10 to 15,000 orders uh, uh, almost uh, on final stage. So I believe that uh, by end of March uh, we should be in a position to close our order book, uh, outstanding order book by say 95,000 crore rupees. Uh, uh, this uh, And the beginning of the year in March 2018 uh, it was around 75-80,000. So we are adding 15,000 order book and uh, plus uh, whatever uh, we will do during the year so in this financial year, approximately 25,000 orders are coming. Okay. Uh, Mr. Mittal, good morning. The orders are coming through, but there is operational pressure. Your margins have been under pressure for a while. And now the street is worried that with the JP and Amrapali projects coming through, the margins could take a further hit. Uh, what are we looking at over the next few quarters on the margin front? I couldn't get you why uh, margins will hit uh, once we'll take over... Amar Pali and JP. The blended margins could perhaps be under further pressure. I mean, you know, in the quarter gone by, your margins have already gone down to sub 3%. Are we looking at further pressure? No, I assume, sir, the assumption of the street is that these projects don't come with good margins. <laughs> this is what I wanted to uh, uh, listen from you. So I want to clarify that uh, Amar Pali is a project. Uh, uh, where we have been, uh, I mean, asked uh, by Supreme Court to complete that project on PMC, uh, I mean, uh, model, okay. not uh, taking over Amar Pali. Mm. So that will not come on our, uh, I mean, balance sheet, any debt or anything. Mm. So we are there purely as a project management consultant, and we have offered a nine percent fee. So, uh, so that pressure will not come and. Uh, uh, again, once again, I would like to clarify that Amar Pali is purely project management consultancy project for okay. MBCC. Okay, can you? Like yeah. other projects. As far as JP is... Yeah, ask, please, yeah that, please, was, that was my question, sir. JP Infra. Ah, JP Infrastructure is a company which we, we have bid uh, uh, in NCLT proceedings. And uh, I don't want to... I mean, it's a very... Uh, uh, immature stage to give you numbers but uh, only thing I can tell you uh, when a public sector company like NBCC has uh, uh, thought of uh, bidding in that company so you and my all shareholders must uh, uh, I mean be uh, confident that uh, when we will take over that company that will give uh, I mean something different kind of uh, margins to company, uh, top line, bottom line, and overall business prospects. Okay. Uh, can you give us an update on the Dharavi redevelopment uh, project and also on the MTNL land redevelopment project? You see, Dharavi, uh, Maharashtra government has uh, done some bidding process and we have not participated because uh, we generally don't participate in that kind of competitive uh, arena in uh, redevelopment segment. Uh, we do works on nomination basis where client really have confidence on NBCC. So that's why uh, presently we have not uh, participated in Dharavi. I don't know what fate is going to happen in Dharavi case. So still I am hopeful that uh, I mean one day we may also be called for negotiation. As far as MTNL uh, land is concerned, there was no 
I mean, discussion on that land for NBCC. Of course, uh, there are six PSUs. Uh, other than MTNL, uh, number of 30, 40 PSUs, where NBCC have been asked to prepare some of the DPRs. Like Air India, we uh, have, I mean, almost got uh, two projects of 10,000 crore rupees in Delhi. So, and uh, some, similarly, there are other uh, public sector companies on which we are working. So, uh, I'm quite sure that uh, government uh, uh, will give some uh, PSU land to NBCC for development, maybe affordable housing, maybe commercial uh, development. So that is other than MTNL. Okay. Well, I appreciate your skepticism about uh, Dharavi redevelopment, uh, Mr. Mittal. I have grown up on the outskirts of that slum. And I think I must have heard about Dharavi redevelopment pro projects <laughs> for the years. last 30 years. <laughs> and I mean, nothing has come from it. Nothing at all. Uh, I mean, I, I would be very glad if you were invited one day soon. Uh, let me just come back to, uh, you know, the other, uh, the Delhi redevelopment projects and the other uh, uh, projects that are already, uh, you know, some of them are stranded. Uh, if you can give us a view as to what will be the EBITDA growth. You know, last quarter you had a, 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 an EBITDA of about 71 crores. What kind of an EBITDA run rate are you expecting in the coming quarters? You see, uh, first question was related to uh, redevelopment yeah. projects in Delhi. Delhi. We uh, have three projects in Delhi, uh, redevelopment projects. One is Netaji Nagar, Saroji Nagar, and third one is uh, Naruji Nagar. And there was uh, some issue related to tree cutting and environment. Uh, I mean, some uh, NGOs uh, raised that issue in court. So finally, uh, in the month of uh, October, if I'm not wrong, or November, Probably uh, the court has given clearance for two big projects, uh, I mean, largest projects amongst three, uh, Saroj Nagar and Nirtaji Nagar, to go ahead with the construction, uh, with the revised plan which we have submitted. And we have now uh, uh, prepared the DPR and submitted for uh, the remaining approvals. And in the meantime, uh, we have also floated tender for Nitaji Nagar project uh, almost 5,000 crore rupees a month ago. So that project, uh, I'm sure that will be. Uh, I mean, uh, on ground uh, in the month of June. And similarly, uh, Saroj Nagar, which is largest project, uh, we have again submitted DPR, and we will come up with the tender of more than 10,000 crore rupees in the month of March or April. Uh, this is the status of these two projects. Uh, third project is Naruji Nagar, which was already started. Uh, I mean, there was no issue related to tree cutting. Whatever trees were there, uh, we have already cut, and uh, with the permission of, of course, forest officer, but the case of that is still uh, under consideration in uh, High Court. And uh, 15th of probably April, uh, March, uh, the hearing is there. Uh, I hope that that should be the final hearing, but uh, it's a subjudice matter. But uh, I'm sure that uh, we are not wrong anywhere. So that will, uh, be, will also be true. This is as far as the redevelopment of these three colonies in Delhi. And uh, there are some other uh, projects uh, which uh, are under discussion in Delhi for redevelopment. Uh, I am not talking about that because we have not officially uh, communicated to stock exchange to, I mean, uh, uh, SEBI. Mm. Uh, so next time when we discuss, <coughs> uh, I will tell you about that. As far as uh, margins are concerned... No, sir, see, not margins. last one and a half year was... Sir, I wanted hmm. to know how your EBITDA run rate will be. Uh, should we work with an 80 crore EBITDA for uh, 70 to 80 crore EBITDA for the current and uh, for FY20? Sorry? Should we work with an EBITDA? Your EBITDA last quarter was 71 crore. Uh, I'm asking you, you know, what kind of guidance you can give in terms of the EBITDA figure? You see, EBITDA figure will definitely improve. Uh, and uh, this is uh, 70 crore you are talking about uh, in last third quarter. Uh, I think uh, the top line was 1600 crore rupees. So EBITDA margins or EBITDA numbers will increase in this quarter also. And subsequently also you will see that. Mm. Okay, we'll uh, leave it at that. Thank you so much for joining us and uh, speaking to us about the operational performance. But the one stock that's really taking a knock now is IDSC first. Uh, Abhishek is here with us to tell us what Morgan Stanley has written with respect to the company and their target price as well. Abhishek? Well, Morgan Stanley, Sonia, retains its underweight rating on the uh, IDFC uh, first bank.
bank. The target price has been cut to rupees 30 from rupees 35. They they do mention that the positive side of this merger is that they expect better retailization in the bank. However, you know the ROE of 13 to 15 percent is much uh, way ahead than you know what the management has guided that they'll achieve by next five to six years. So IDFC own the own parent bank is actually having its fundamentals which are very weak. So therefore, you know uh, Morgan Stanley has cut the book value by uh, 12 to 14 percent owing to the fact that there will be larger dilution needed. So forecast of book value growth is the weakest amongst their coverage at a mere 4 percent over the next two years and at 5 percent over the next five years. Their coverage list has a book value growth of nearly 15 percent plus. So valuations of price to book value of 1x FI20 looks to be on the expensive side given the fact that there is poor risk reward uh, for the bank. Back to you. Okay, so that's the warning coming uh, from uh, IDF, from uh, Morgan Stanley on IDFC first, and uh, that stock is reeling under that report. We have to take a break on that note. We are coming back. Our technical experts will join us uh, with fresh technical trades. Ashwini Gujral, Mithish Tucker, and Rajat Bose in a minute. Thereafter, we are going to have the first of our election exchange discussions, basically a survey of the economy. We are looking at a CMI report which has pegged the current unemployment situation at 7.2 percent, an alarming level. Mahesh, we asked the author of this report, MD and CEO of CMI, and uh, Professor Himanshu, uh, the Professor of Economics at JNU, will be joining in.